we were mainframe programmers. The internet was here and things were changing fast because of it. Changing fast, very fast. My customer, my customer asked me, can you get a team to take on new projects and to provide certain specific IT services? I went to my management. My management, my management said yes, and we had staff ready to volunteer. But then some staff we had to draft, or shall I say, force volunteer. So there I was. I was with staff that was scared, eager, happy to go, and staff that was scared, upset, and mad at me. Today I'm giving my speech to talk about my understanding of my leadership style, which is to be democratic, coaching, and pace setting, and how I use that to bring resolutions to my emotional staff. I was a county employee, but unlike all my other coworkers, I worked offsite under the direction of the county of the county entity that I was contracted to. So my coworkers, when they found out that they would be leaving their safe, comfortable work, comfortable desk to come work with me under an entity that they've heard stories about, <laughs> they were not happy. They were not happy. So why democratic leadership style? because I had to bring consensus to all my staff to make sure that everybody was on the same page. So I got some team members to go with me to go out to build these specifications. That way I got some people to be on the same page. We brought those specifications back to our staff and collaborated with them. I wanted everybody to have an opinion to give their input so we can all have an understanding of the work we were going to do. And then in areas where I was lacking, I didn't mind having somebody else to step, step up. I wanted anybody that said they can do it better, and I thought they can do it better, I wanted them to lead that area. And then I would talk them up to our management so the management knew what they were doing and to possibly provide other opportunities for, for them. Why coaching? Because we were all learning these, this tech, new technology. My customer would pick the technology, we didn't know what it was going to be, and we were all expected to pick it up because we were computer information systems and management information systems um, majors. We all had very similar background with various, various years of expertise. But we were learning this stuff. Some were picking it up fast, some were a little slower, and some struggled. With those that struggled, I didn't mind sitting down with someone to go over what I knew. In fact, I would take classes on my own, off work, or on the weekends to, to, to get up to speed. So I would readily share my information with anybody that was struggling. But then I also had the group collaborate. We would meet, we would share what we knew. And some of those people that I thought were very smart it was spectacular to hear them talk about their understanding and for us to ask them questions. Then lastly, pace setting. Some of these individuals were very, very smart. Unassuming people, I didn't, get to, I didn't choose my team. My management chose my team for me. And these people, could pick this information up so quick. They think in the abstract, they can pick up languages, and they can pick up tools. For those people, I did not want to board them. So if they could follow the specifications and it was clear, I gave them certain specific areas to work on, and I left them alone. I periodically checked on them, but I left them alone. Great. I had a couple of people like this, and they were extremely efficient. The problem is, 
some of those people were so smart that they finished quickly. And I did not want anybody sitting idle because we were at the customer site. The first question I get, even from my friends, is why is Tim just sitting there? Some people would say, Tim is not doing anything. And then I would have to say to them, no, Tim, Tim's finished his job. He's waiting for me to give him something else. What I've learned most about my leadership style is that I share attributes of very successful leaders. I can communicate. I can lead by example. I am optimistic. I, I am also open-minded. And I try to share these things or display these things to my customer. I try to be truthful and honest. That way, I know where I stand. But I also share, show integrity. And I think integrity is not what I think. It's what I do when people aren't looking. So what I've learned about my leadership styles is that it allowed me to build trust with my customer so that in the good times, we were able to get pat on the back. In the tough times, they knew we would continue working. But when things would go wrong, I had, I have the trust of my customer, I have the trust of my staff, and I have the trust of, trust of my management. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you.